In this video guide, I want to show you how you can download, install, and then use Scribus. So let's go into Google and let's search for Scribus. And there it is. So what is Scribus, first of all? This is a application or a software which is totally free and it's used to create presentation and documentation. You can use this, for example, as a uh, PowerPoint substitute or uh, even better as a alternative to Adobe InDesign. So let's just see something made with Scribus here and you can see you can create a newspaper, magazine and books or stuff like that but you can actually create any type of printed uh, document or digital document. If you look on the web you can see that there are also some website that um, kind of compare the two software so you can see the pros and cons. Also you can use with uh, uh, InDesign Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop. Illustrator is for um, vector graphics so just showing you here and Photoshop it's for pictures and photographs, so raster graphics, there it is. So these three software usually go together, uh, Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign. But if you want a free version, a free alternative of these three, you can use Scribus for uh, substituting um, InDesign. Then you have Krita, to an alternative to Illustrator, and GIMP, which is an alternative to Photoshop. And you can work with all them together. Also, I want to show you the, the YouTube channel that you are in. It's called JBD Tube. We do a lot of guides and video courses. So if you go here in the playlist, you will find some English video courses right here at the top. And also please subscribe. Okay, to download Scribus, it's pretty simple. You can click here to get Scribus and you can uh, choose to download the stable version or the uh, development version. In this case, I suggest you use the stable version always because it's more stable. That's it. So here, this is the download page. You can choose to download 32 bit or 64, or you can choose Windows or Mac. In my case, I will choose Windows 64 bit. And this will bring you to sourceforge.net. Uh, I will not accept this. I will just select the download button here. Don't press anything else. Just go straight here to the download. And you should wait pretty, there you go. Uh, it's pretty fast. So you shouldn't wait too long. And I've already downloaded Scribus. So it's already in my download folder, so I will not download it again. So you should find it here when it's finished to download and you will double click on this and say yes and this will bring you to a wizard which is pretty simple to go through just press forward 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 okay I've already installed it so it, it's asking me to remove the oldest version and then reinstall it but I will not won't do this uh, it's pretty simple you can manage to do that by yourself no problem when you are finished to install you should see a shortcut on the desktop and also if you don't find that you can always go here to the start menu and this is your software right here at the top or you can search for here there you go so you have many ways to open it and once you open it, well, let me show you. I will close this one because I have already made something there. So I will reopen it from here. And this is kind of a launcher. And also it's asking me for Ghost Script, which is um, another uh, software, I guess, which will give me the possibility to import EPS, which is a particular file to uh, print stuff. So it's something about printing, but we don't care about this now. You can uh, search for this on the web. So we'll just 
bypass that and I am here now and of course it's in Italian because I am Italian and my operative system is in Italian so this software is smart enough to set me with this um, language but I will show you where to change it right away I'm just gonna create a simple page here so single page and I will hit OK and this is the, the software this is this the interface and it's pretty simple it looks like Word looks like Microsoft Word so well it's actually something uh, that you uh, will use to create documents so a lot of texts and a lot of um, information but you can also bring in uh, vector graphics and uh, raster graphics to compose a really nice layout but I this is just an introduction I will not show you too much here just the the starting point of a possible uh, future video course so let me change the language first so to do that I will go to file and preferences language and I will select from here the English well you shouldn't have this problem because it automatically detects your language from your operative system but in case this is where you're gonna find it file preferences and there you go you can also change a little bit the user interface uh, unfortunately I don't see here any um, any dark theme which should would be really nice uh, so please guys just do this uh, dark version of your uh, software here uh, talking to the development team and this is the font size I can increase it a little bit to see the text in the interface a little bit better or I can decrease it if they get too much space like that and you can do all sorts of things in the preference panel but I will not go through this in this video this is just an introduction again if you want uh, me to create more videos to create lessons to create a full video course on Scribius if you're interested please give us your support you can just go to the channel subscribe if you want you can buy some something in the store you can support us with PayPal or just send a message with your support and comments like suggestions or uh, questions and we'll be happy to answer okay so now let's get uh, to the final part of this introduction so basically it's uh, pretty straightforward this is a uh, one of the uh, simplest software that I have ever seen it's uh, very similar to Microsoft Office so you have this menus here that you can get down you have this really simple toolbar where you get all the the tools you have these rulers here that you can change from down here so this is now points but I can change this to millimeters if I am doing something digital or I can change into other um, different measurements and you can also uh, change the zoom here and well this is definitely it uh, you don't have many more well actually you have some windows you can open up more windows for example you have layers you have properties these are hidden but you can open them up like that you can uh, perhaps arrange them uh, somewhere here or maybe if you have another screen you can open up uh, all the panels and these are pretty similar to what you find again in uh, Illustrator and InDesign they share similar tools I want to close everything up again and discard and reopen it because I want to uh, restart from the this uh, starting uh, panel here because now it's in English so I can explain a little bit better to you what's inside this panel this is pretty important because you can create for example a threefold or a fourfold document already here and you can change the size you can change the orientation the uh, sides right here and you can do a lot of uh, pre settings before even starting to work also you can select the templates the templates are pretty nice because 
uh, they give you also an idea of what you can do actually with this software so you can do books brochures business cards cards grids packaging pdf presentation and so on and also you can open existing and recent document right here in this case i just want to show you um, this uh, template just to show you something different okay so i have this and i can create i can start to create my document from here and not from scratch i can use a template anytime and you can also search for templates in any software on the web you should always find something and this is it this is just an introduction again so thanks for watching the video subscribe leave comments and see you in the next video